In this video, I'm going to show you how you can renew your driving license if you're 70 years old or over online via the gov.uk website. So the website to go to is www.gov.uk slash renew driving license at 70. I've put that direct link in the comment section below for you so you can click on it with confidence and know that it's going to take you to the official gov.uk website. Please do follow the guidance given by gov.uk as well to only use their website. This service is entirely free. And if any website is telling you that there's a cost, leave that website immediately and make sure you go to the gov.uk website. Again, that link to the direct gov.uk website is in the description box below for you. So when we click on that link, you're greeted by this front page that says, renew your driving license if you're 70 or over. Renew your driving license online with DLA for free if you're 70 or over, or will be 70 in the next 90 days. And it states here that by renewing online, your license should arrive within one week if you apply online. So before we start, it's just a bit more further information for you and you can see if you qualify or if this is applicable to you as you scroll down. So as it says, you can use this service to renew your British driving license if you're 70 or over or will be 70 in the next 90 days and your British license has expired or it's going to expire within 90 days. You're a resident of Great Britain, you meet the minimum eyesight requirement and you aren't prevented from driving for any reason. Please note that once you reach 70, you must renew every three years and you can change the license filter at the same time as renewing your license. In this scenario, I'm going to be helping my father renew his license. He's 76. We've previously done one before three years ago, which there's also a video for, but this is a more up-to-date video from 2022. Furthermore, what you need. If you haven't used this service before, you need to register with an email address, addresses of where you've lived for the last three years, your national insurance number, if you know it, and a valid UK passport number, if you want to change the license photo. After that, DVLA will send you a confirmation email once you've applied. So the documents that I have prepared for this application are my father's valid UK passport, and I've also got his national insurance number, which he's providing to me. And as it states here, driving while DVLA has your license. You can drive while your license is being renewed if you meet all of the following conditions. You have the support of your doctor to continue driving. You had a valid license. You only drive under the conditions of the previous license. Your application is less than a year old. Your last license wasn't revoked or refused for medical reasons. You're not currently disqualified and you weren't disqualified as a high risk offender on or after the 1st of June, 2013. So here we go. We're going to click on the start now button and initiate the application. So renew your license at age 70 and over. Authentication. During your transaction, please do not use the buttons on your browser, e.g. back forward, refresh, etc. You should only use the buttons on the bottom of each page and you should click these only once. Please have all your documents to hand as the service will time out when not in use. Please ensure the details you enter are your own. You cannot apply for a driving license for someone else. We're gonna click on next. So some information about security of your data. DVLA are committed to upholding the security of your data. We use industry standard security technology and practices to safeguard your data from any unauthorized access so that you can be confident in using our service. We have prepared some information on the security of your online transactions, which you can view now by clicking the link below. You also find this link on the logon page. We're gonna go ahead and click on next. So your details, please complete your personal details. Please ensure your personal details, including any middle names, match the details on your official ID documents, i.e. a passport. So we're going to use my father's UK passport for this section, and we're just going to mirror that passport and its details. So the first name will be exactly the same. The surname will be exactly the same. He only has a first and last name. He doesn't have any middle names or any middle initials on his UK passport. So we're going to keep it exactly like that. Uh, the same gender and the same date of birth, again, as it appears on his passport. And finally, the country of his birth, as it appears on the UK passport. You just simply mirror it. So if all the details are correct, please click next. And it just keeps everything consistent. Your addresses. So search for your address. Please enter the address that you require on your new driving license. And please note that the asterisk indicates that an answer is required. So we're just going to enter the house number and the postcode. Handy way of making sure that the information comes up is looking at your current driving license photo card or paper driving license and just replicating the information that appears on that. So again, it's the same house name or number and then the postcode and it'll populate for you. So we're going to enter that information and then click on next. So your address is, please check that this is the correct address before choosing next. If not, choose search again or other ways to enter your address. So in this box here, we've got confirmation of the address it is accurate and it mirrors the same address that appears on my father's current UK driving license. So we're happy with that and we're going to go ahead and click on next. So time lived at address. 
So the address that we've got here, they want to know how long the license holder has lived at the address. It has to be for more than three years. And if you've been at that address for less than three years, you'll get further addresses to fill in the amount of time that you've lived there. So in this instance, my father's lived at the same address for more than three years. So I'm just going to enter the years for this current address and then click on next. So your driver record, driver record details. If you know the following details, please enter them. It will make it easier to find your driver record. So here they're looking for the driver number. So this is the long driver number that starts with your surname and is followed by a series of numbers. It's on the front of your driving license photo card. You just wanna carefully enter its information. It is quite a long number, so be careful of typos. Once you've typed it up, definitely have a look back at it and back at the card, making sure you've not missed any numbers. You have told us that you have lived at the following addresses in the last three years. So it repeats the address that we've noted in the previous field and then it asks you, is the address printed on your driving license listed above? So in our scenario, it is. It's the same address that's on this current driving license and we're gonna make sure that it's printed on the new license. So in answer to this question, we're gonna tick on yes and then we're gonna go ahead and click next. Next up, security details. So that we can process your application, we will check your identity and the details you have given us with third parties. By providing the information below, you are consenting to your details being submitted to these third parties. If we can't confirm your identity, we will tell you what to do next at the end of your transaction. So it does state here, please note the asterisk indicates that an answer is required. I've noted that the first two fields, telephone number and daytime telephone number, aren't really mandatory. So if you don't want to put one in, that's up to you. So the fields that we're going to concentrate on our birth surname, we're into that. Again, we're just going to go by the UK passport, the mother's maiden name, and then the place of birth. If you click on the help icons, it gives you a bit more further information if you're not too sure. But with the birth surname, we're just going to stick with how it appears in my father's UK passport. There's been no changes with his birth surname since birth. And then the place of birth, again, we're going to mirror the place of birth as printed in my father's current UK passport. Once we fill those in, we're going to click on next. National insurance number. So providing your national insurance number will help to process your application more quickly. If you enter your national insurance number, DVLA will attempt to verify and authenticate your identity with the Department for Work and Pensions and Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs. If DVLA are unable to verify your identity, it may result in you having to send DVLA additional paper documentation, such as original identity documents by post. By entering your national insurance number, you'll provide DVLA with consent to check your personal details and national insurance number with the Department of Working Pensions and Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs. If you do not wish to or cannot provide your national insurance number, please leave the following sections blank and click next to continue. We're gonna go ahead and fill in the national insurance number. We have it to hand and if it makes things as it states here, move the application more quickly then it's worthwhile to do so we'll enter the number here very carefully make sure there's no typos and then we'll re-enter it again and then click on next next up uk passport number so please enter your uk passport number below You'll be giving your consent to access your personal data, including your photo and signature, held by Her Majesty's Passport Office. The information returned from HM Passport Office will be used to check your identity. So here we're going to enter the passport number and then re-enter it, making sure there's no typos. The passport number is a series of numbers that appears in the top right-hand corner of your bio page. So that's the that's the page with your photo and your name, uh, date of birth, expiry date details of the passport. That's the page you want to get the passport number from. That's again on the top right-hand corner and it's a series of numbers. Numbers. So you want to type them in very carefully, make sure there's no typos and then retype it and then go ahead and click next. Retaining C1 and D1 entitlements. So this is information if you have entitlements to drive minibuses up to 16 passenger seats, minibuses on a voluntary basis and medium sized vehicles and you wish to retain this entitlement, you cannot renew online. And if you do not wish to retain this entitlement, click next and DVLA will renew your car entitlement only. Full transparency here, my father only has a license to drive a car. He doesn't have a minibus or medium sized vehicles license. So he never had the entitlement to begin with. So we can very easily just click on next and continue with just getting the car entitlement renewed only, which is what we're here for. So next up, license details. So for our records, we would like to know whether you are still in possession of your driving license and your application will not be affected if you answer no. Are you still in possession of your license? He still has his physical photo card license. So we're gonna go ahead and click on yes and then click on next. Here we go, license must be renewed. Your license is no longer valid and must be renewed. To do this, the photo on your license must be changed. If you would like to use your passport photo on your driving license, click on the next button to continue with your online application. 
You will not be charged a fee for renewing your license with this online application. And if you do not want to use your passport photo, then you cannot continue with your online application. You will still need to renew your license. And so for other ways to renew your license, please use the link below and then click on the cancel button to end your online application. In this scenario, we're happy to use the passport photo for our driving license. So what we're going to do is click on next and further the application along. Disqualifications. So are you currently disqualified from driving? And in my father's situation, he is not. So we're going to click on no and then click on next. Next category is your eyesight. So before answering this question, you must read the eyesight standards for driving on the right hand side of this page. So you can click on that expansion page, the eyesight standards for driving, just to make sure that you do meet the legal eyesight requirements. On this page, however, it asks you two questions. Can you meet the legal eyesight standard for driving? I'm gonna click on yes, because my father can. And for the next question, do you need to wear glasses or corrective lenses to meet this standard? Again, we're gonna click on yes, because my father needs to wear spectacles to drive. So we're gonna tick yes for both and then click on next. So this next section does seem to have a lot of information, but we're gonna go through it. Medical questions and fitness to drive. So please only tick any medical conditions that you currently suffer from or have ever suffered from, which you have not told us about before. Told us about before, but has got worse. Told us about before, and you have had special controls fitted to your vehicle for since your last license was issued. If none of the above are relevant to you, please click next to continue. So quite an exhaustive list of medical conditions. You can tick them as they may or may not apply to you. My father's situation, none of these do apply to him. So we just go ahead and leave all the boxes unticked and we simply go and click on the next button below. Medical declaration. You have answered that you do not suffer from any of the medical conditions on the previous page or that you have previously told us about a condition that has not got worse. Please confirm this by ticking the box below. So you will tick this box. It states that I confirm that I do not suffer from and have never had any of the conditions listed previously, or I have previously told the EVA about a medical condition that has not got worse. That's applicable to our scenario specifically. So we're gonna go ahead and tick that box and then click on next. Following that, it's organ donation. So DVLA is working with the NHS to encourage organ donation and save lives. If you need an organ transplant, would you have one? If so, please help others. You can go ahead and do, yes, I want to join the NHS organ donor register, then continue with my DVLA driving license application, or I'd like to complete my DVLA driving license application first and find out more when I have finished. And as we have registered before, we can click on yes and take this opportunity to confirm or update your donation preferences. To continue with your DVLA license application, you must select one of the two options above. So what we're going to do is since we have registered before, we're going to go ahead and click on the yes option and make our personal preference. Now this is entirely up to you whether you want to opt in or opt out, but we've made our decision here and we're going to go ahead and then click on next. So further information, email address. Please enter the email address to which you would like your email confirmation sent. So we just enter our email address. Again, just be very weary of making sure there's no typos because we want to for sure get our confirmation email. So we just enter our email address and then confirm it by re-entering it. Once we're happy with that, we're gonna click on next. And declaration. So I understand that it is a criminal offense to make a false declaration or withhold material information in order to obtain a driving license. And to do so can lead to prosecution and a fine of up to 1,000 pounds or imprisonment for a period of up to two years or both. We're going to review this declaration. So please confirm this declaration by clicking in the box. So we click the box. And I understand that it is a legal requirement that only one driving license is held at one time and confirm that I've cut my driving license in two and will return it to DVLA. So we're going to tick next box, which is please confirm that you will return your old driving license by clicking in the box. So we'll tick both the boxes and then click on next. All right, so here's a summary of the answers that we've completed in the previous sections. So check your answers. You must click on the submit now button at the bottom of this page to submit your application. Please check the details you have given carefully. You can correct any details that are wrong by clicking on the change links at the bottom of each section. You won't be able to make changes after this page. So please ensure your personal details, including any middle names, match the details on your official ID document, i.e. your passport. So give this a really good close once over, making sure all the details are accurate and typo free. And once you're happy, you can then submit them. So everything looks good. We're going to go ahead and click on the submit now button. And here we go. Application completed. 
Confirmation details. Thank you for submitting your application. Your driving license application has been submitted for validation checks. The driving license should arrive in the post within two weeks. Please cut your old driving license into two and return it to the following address. Please print this page and or make a note of the application reference number in case you have a query. And we've got some reiteration of the information here. So we've got the name, the application reference number, which is specific to our application and confirmation that the file tour has been changed. And driving before your new license arrives. So the law allows you to drive before you receive your driving license as long as you have held a Great Britain or Northern Ireland's license issued since 1st of January 1976, you are not disqualified from driving, you have not been and will not be refused a license for medical reasons, you keep to any special conditions which apply to the license and the entitlement on your license has not expired. Now we're going to go ahead and click on finish and there we have it. We've renewed the license for drivers over 70 years of age. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please do give it a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Sharing this video with someone that you might think may benefit from it. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them for me below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And do remember that the official link to this website is in the description box below for you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.